Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is John Hammond, and this time I want to showcase a video on the GitHub to GitLab transition. So this is kind of off the tails of something that happened in the real world lately, IRL, um, where Microsoft bought GitHub, and that was a pretty big bummer to most people. Um, so I'm not going to beat around the bush. I'm not going to try and avoid this topic because this is a lot of the reason why there's been a flurry of stuff on the Internet, Twitter, uh, lots of uh, computer science and InfoSec people blogging about stuff, moving their projects to GitLab. Um, so this all happened, I think, about two weeks ago. You'll see most of the news articles are around then, June 4th-ish. Um, so the flurry has kind of died down, but there are still some news articles that are coming out uh, around this time period, June 18th, June 20th, etc., etc., or today even, whatever. Um, so obviously GitLab has been trying to capitalize on this, so there are some blog posts that they've released as to, like, yo, absolutely, totally you should come to GitLab because Microsoft buying GitHub may not be a good thing. Like, I'd love to trust Microsoft, and I do, I appreciate them with this open source initiative that they've been doing, but I still have an inkling of that kind of backhand business module they had of uh, embrace, extend, extinguish, or <laughs> whatever that weirdness was. Um, so, this video is off the tails that you are trusting of GitLab, you're pretty excited about it, and you are uh, willing to move on into it rather than, than GitHub. So um, I have a GitHub account, and I want to move it into a new GitLab account that I've created, and I want to showcase how to do that. But obviously on the internet, there is a lot of flurry about all this moving to GitLab stuff, hashtag on Twitter, etc. Um, so totally post a tweet if you're into that and you're doing this thing. So I'm going to log into my GitHub account, github.com, and I will sign in with my account, username, or email address, whatever. Okay, so I have a bunch of things here, all of my repositories, um, and let's see, well, let me just get to my page. Yeah. So I have a decent amount of repositories that I would like to be uh, kept well and kept together, so I'm going to go ahead and put that onto GitLab, because I'd like to move out of GitHub and move into GitLab, since now it's going to become Microsoft property. Um, there's been some stuff between B Brian Lunduk. <laughs> He's got some pretty good philosophy on this. Um, He's been saying, like, maybe next year GitHub will be renamed to, like, Microsoft Visual Studio Repository or <laughs> something cheesy. So again, I'm going to log into GitLab here. So now I can go ahead up to the top right and create new or new project in green here. Um, and you'll be given this page where you can create a new project, but you'll want to import a project. And a project with this lingo is the same thing as a repository in GitHub. Um, so you've got options once you go to that import project tab, you can select um, from GitHub, import project from GitHub. So You'll be given this page where you can import repositories from GitHub. Um, if you use a personal access token or whatever, you can do it that way. But the simplest thing and the easiest thing I've found is just click this big green button to list your GitHub repositories. If you're already signed in, like I kind of am over here, um, it may be able to associate from email or from username or however magic it does. I'm going to assume you're using the same email address for your accounts. Um, you'll see you're put to a GitHub page where it's authorizing an OAuth token or an authorization token to let GitLab use some of this stuff and get it, let, let GitLab use that GitHub API. So we can hit the green authorize GitLab, let that happen. Once that is all done, now you'll be able to see, okay, here are all of your repositories and other things that you've worked with from your GitHub account accessible on GitLab. So you can click import all repositories if you wanted to, or we can just go through a specific one. So I'll just steal uh, Cypherplane, which was some cheesy Python code that I had wrote to differentiate between ciphertext and plain text if we're given a lot of those in any capture flag or cybersecurity challenge. So let's go ahead and click on that import. It will start that. And once it's done, it'll be marked green. And now, you'll have that all set up. So these links now have both the from GitHub side and the to GitLab side. So you can click on your to GitLab one and magically you'll have that repository or that project now migrated into GitLab. And again, you can do this for as many of the repositories as you want on the previous page or import all of them if you're working with a ton. Um, so that's the easy, simple way to do it pretty awesome. Now we have got that link, and if we wanted to, in a command line, we can just use git clone that stuff, got it pulled, 
CD cipher plane, nice. Let's touch from gitlab.txt. Let's add that. Oh, I added it twice, whatever. <laughs> added a note from GitLab. And we can get push that. So now we're going to be working in GitLab, just like this. Go ahead and push that change. If I refresh this GitLab one, you can see we've got that note here. But obviously back in our GitHub, that's not going to be noted because we just haven't pushed to that rendition of the repository. And if we wanted to, we could just kill all this stuff. We could delete this account, we could delete this repository, etc. Um, one thing I do recommend you doing is after you've made the, all these transitions and the uh, move that you wanted to do, go into the settings of your GitHub account and then go ahead into your application section down here on the far left pane and hit the tab for authorize OAuth apps because now that we've allowed GitLab to use that API, um, once we've made all the transitions and all the uh, migrations that we really want to, let's go ahead and remove that from the an remove that application from uh, the O authorization tokens that GitHub has. Um, because who knows, we could, we, could, we could dream up any crazy horror stories or nightmares of Microsoft totally ruining this thing and abusing this GitLab access, who knows, I don't know. So go ahead and click on Revoke and click I understand Revoke Access. So once that's done, you won't be able to easily import things, like if I refresh the page, now access is denied, but you have to have that authorization token in existence for you to really be able to do that. Um, move from GitHub to GitLab with that simple interface that GitLab provides. So that's it, but man, look at that. Look at how slick and nice and how awesome GitLab actually is. Um, tinker with some of these repositories, pull some of your own stuff, and then work with it because it's not going to change your workflow if you're already working with Git. Um, you've just got a different place to call home, and honestly, I love this interface kind of a lot more than GitHub's. So I'm happy to be in this spot. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you're enjoying these videos. Uh, if you are, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Watching, I'll see you later.